Well, welcome back to The Pathway, and today we got to hear Psalm 73 by our guest speaker, Carl Sutter. And what a wonderful opportunity to just hear the heart of Israel's worship leader at the time of Asaph as he's dealing with a hard question. This is one of the reasons why we love Psalms is because it's both a song book, but also a prayer book. And Asaph is, he's wrestling with this question that's clearly as, as old as time. Why do good things happen to bad people? And as he's wrestling with this with God, he's, he's saying, hey, I've been trying, I've been doing the right thing. What's the, what's the point? Have you ever felt that way? What's the point in doing all this good if when I look at my friends and my neighbors and they're not doing anything to follow God, and yet they seem to be prospering as well? And so as he's wrestling with this, he comes to the point where it says, until, until I went to the sanctuary of the Lord. And Carl reminded us that it's, until we enter into God's presence. Because God's presence isn't just in a building. But if we believe and trust in him, it's inside of us. And I love how the psalm continues as he ends in verse 28. That would be my challenge to us is to read all the way through Psalm 73. Because at the very end, Asaph says this, but it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God that I may declare all your works. And that word declare is actually the word recount, to think back to all the things that God has done in your life in the past in those difficult moments where it didn't seem to make sense. And then when you got to the other side, you said, oh God, now I see why you did what you did. Why you delayed maybe in your timing, but your timing is always perfect. And we see as Asaph re wrestles with this moment, he says, until I entered your presence and drew near to you, then I saw the bigger picture. That's my encouragement for us today, to draw near to God, to continue to draw near to God through worship, through prayer, through little moments, so that we can see what God's doing in our lives. Let's pray. God, thank you that sometimes you allow us to see the bigger picture. Sometimes you don't. And it's in those moments that you're developing our character. You're drawing us closer to you so that we can know you better, that you can reshape us to be more like you. We don't like the middle of those moments. They're hard. They're difficult. But when we come out the other side of it, we remember and we say, I will declare the Lord's blessing and I will trust in him. Lord, we trust in you. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen.